Hi friends, today's lesson is for Module 1, Lesson 34. Our learning goal for today says, I can count 10 all the way back to 1 by taking 1 less. Now when we take 1 less, that means we're taking 1 away. And that reminds me of one of my favorite songs. Are you ready? There were 10 in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <laughs> and I love this song. The coolest part is as they go through and one falls out, I mean, poor baby, but the number gets smaller, right? Let's count and see, because they started with 10. Let's count and see how many babies there are now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine! Yeah, because we took one away. We're one less babies than what we started with. All right, let's sing it again. But this time, we're going to start with nine. There were nine in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Oh, goodbye, baby. All right, who can tell me how many do we have left now? We had nine and we took one away. We're one less. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, you might as well keep going. There were eight in the bed. Oops, there were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's just fast forward that song a little bit. We have seven. There were seven in the bed and little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <laughs> How many babies do I have left now, friends? I had seven and one fell out. Yeah, I have six. Every time we take one away, we just, it's kind of like we're going down those stairs, right? Backwards? Yeah, the number's just getting a little bit smaller. So what if another one falls out? One more or less. Now how many do we have? Good, five. One, two, three, four, five. And what about if another one does? Yep, we have four. Ooh, you're getting the hang of it. What about another one? Three? And then oh, that one, yeah, three and one less than that is two. And watch this. When I have two, one less becomes how many, friends? Yes, one. And now that little bubby can be nice and cozy in the bed. See, when we take one away, the number gets smaller. And I like to think about this cozy bed and how they're all squished to begin with. But every time I took a friend away, there was a little bit more room. I took enough friends away, and look at that baby has the whole bed nice and cozy to itself. Friends, our learning goal said I can count 10 all the way to 1 by taking one less. And that's what we did with that song. Every single time, we just took one away. And if we did it over and over and over, eventually we ended up with just one little bubby. Okay, so I need you to do me a favor. Can you tell me, how did we end up with all of that room for the baby? What does it mean to take one less? How does the number change every time you take one less or one away? Just go ahead and just send me a quick video telling me what happens when you have one less. All right, good luck, friends.